we never fail Your word we come to pass Your word must surely stand Cause you are God, you're not a man Can we give them another hand clap? They look beautiful, isn't it? Congratulations, uh, ministers erect. God bless you. He has chosen you so that you may serve him. And uh, I'm here with Apostle Joe, a man of God that I trust, who has a track record for a long time. I know him and I know his wife and I know his church and I know his beautiful family. Amen. So that's why I brought him and I'm happy that he is here. Amen. He has a track record in ministry. He's going to be here with me today. And also I have, I have Pastor Amy who is going also to help me to do the work of God to consecrate these beautiful ministers. Something unique is about to happen in your lives and you are going to experience it within a short time from now. Sorry. Amen. The instruments are ready for you. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today because these wonderful people here have displayed gifts of service to the Lord. Our Lord Jesus told us that in spite of fields being ready for harvest, the laborers are few. These three have, been, have portrayed their willingness to be workers in God's vineyard. And today, having noticed the call of God in their lives, are ready to consecrate them. Since what God has called in the, in the private must be anointed and appointed in the public. This is our mission today. The three candidates elect will stand up upon being called. Now you're already standing. Candidate one, lift up your hand, and number two. Praise God. Give him give her a hand. Candidate two. Kate Akam Keti from Uganda. Amen. Another clap of her. Candidate 3, Vivian Mutinda. Give her a hand clap. I will request that the assistants just stand behind them, right behind them. Awesome. Can we give our help us a hand clap? Awesome. Amen. Uh, somebody is to speak for Vivian. Brother is there. Please come and say who Agatha is and keep him from saying Vivian and Agatha because they just look the same. Thank you, thank you. You're doing a great job. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Yes. It's a proud moment for me and I'm sure for the rest of our family yes. to see Agatha get into the work of the Lord. Yes. I can see she's already very emotional. It's okay. Uh, 
Agatha is our beautiful sister, and uh, she is our second last born. We have our last born daughter, sister. She is uh, not here with us, and uh, I'm sure uh, seeing her grow up and her commitment to God. Did you, did you start the other day? Uh, seeing her serve the Lord in various capacities, and uh, going forward, I'm very sure that God is going to use her in a powerful way because she's not committed to the Lord and uh, I, I think she's taking it from her mother her mother used to be a, a good uh, person before God and uh, uh, let's see how God is going to use her Amen. we cannot get the Lord we cannot uh, direct the Lord how to use her but I'm very sure he's going to use her in a very powerful way wow. God bless you and uh, I'm sure the rest of the family have uh, blessed you Amen. because I'm here representing everybody. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. And thank you for coming. May God bless you. Take our greetings to them. Amen. 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 Uh, Skora, do you know Vivian? Come. But before Skora, let's have um, Harriet. Harriet, come and say one word about Kate. Uh, She's, she came with her uh, from Uganda, Kampala. Praise God, Church. Amen. Uh, the word he tried it, uh, Kathy. I know she will do it because she has been ministering in the church. She has been doing well. And God has chosen her. And uh, even the same word which God spoke to Jeremiah that before you were born, I chose you. This is the word I give you. Continue like that, and you will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you know, let's have it. You know how from Uganda? How is she in Uganda? Is she a servant oh, of God? She is good. Yeah, she has been serving God. She God. doesn't have bad characters. I know. Awesome. Yeah. That's all we need to know. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Um, amen. It's for Adam and uh, uh, Vivian chose the friend who knows her very well. So, tell us one word about Vivian. Is she worthy to receive the oil today? Praise God, Church. Amen. Amen. As I stand before you here, mm. Vivian is a really good friend of mine. And what I know about Vivian, she's really passionate to serve God. Amen. That what she is, her heart is towards the word of God. Yeah. So you know that she's not going to let us down. No, no, no. Amen. <laughs> That's all we need to hear. Amen. Praise God. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will request you to be seated as I have the three now coming before um, us here. Uh, one Candidate one, candidate two, candidate three, for right that to it, those are ministers. Right. Can we give them a hand clap again? Okay. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we pray for them? Yes. Father, we pray that these wonderful ministers whom you have raised, elevated, separated, and promoted today are going to be releasing their duties effectively and the all that will come upon them no devil can fight them i pray as i bless them now and as i receive them in the house of god may you do them well in jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. we may be seated unless you feel you want to stand you may uh, you may sit as uh candidate wants to take her position here do we love agatha Amen. Face the people as you receive the uh, Amen. Let's hear a short testimonial of Agatha. 
Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. My name is Alkerton Muturi. Today I'm so honored and so emotional. It's a pleasure to serve God in this altar. And uh, I'm ready for the oil. I'm ready to share the spirit uh, that works in this altar. I'm ready to carry his anointing, his spirit to the nations. And therefore, I'm so humble and I can't wait. Uh, Apostle Dr. Frank, especially the anointing of healing. Wow. Yeah, I know he carries so many graces, yes. but um, I want to have so much uh, the grace of healing. Amen. Amen. You will receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, let's have uh, Agatha taking uh, a vows today in Jesus' name. Right. Realizing the seriousness of the responsibilities that we fall on me as a consecrated minister, I, Agatha Wamoyo Muturi, here by pledge as follows. I will be strong in the Lord and endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I will give myself wholly to the word of God so that I might present myself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I will give myself to prayer and fasting, seeking to keep myself free from the domination of the flesh and the distracting influence of the world. I will put fast in my life where it is convenient and where it is not convenient. I will work in harmony with other Christian ministers. I will discharge, I will discharge faithfully all duties that are apportioned to me by my authority in all honor and humility, not to be recognized by men, but to be noticed by my Father in heaven. I will be my life set I will by my life set a good example in love, humility, service, obedience, faith, purity, generosity, and all other virtues expected of me or expected of a Christian leader. I will fully submit for the Lord's sake to those that are senior to me in the Lord knowing that the spirit under which I serve will be evident to all around me. Amen. Can we give her a clap? Come over and sign you up. She put her hand in the bow and we receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Candidate yeah. two, congratulations, candidate one. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. Praise God, Church. I'm cut by the names. My dear friends, I'm the way. I'm not even a person with the rock. And I'm ready to stand.
Actually, I questioned him many questions because I wanted to know whether he's a true man of God. He was so faithful and open to me. He welcomed me. He answered all the questions I was asking him. Imagine on TikTok, an international apostle. God managed to join me together with him until we managed to bring him to Uganda. Indeed, his coming to Uganda was not easy. But I thank God who made it. Someone spending 24 hours on the way to Uganda. It is really, very difficult. But it was by God's grace. Pastor Franca's coming to Uganda was not a vain. I'm one of the vessels. I was serving as my sister, my friend. I call her my advisor, Harriet. We were redeemed from one of the church. Our souls were redeemed. It is because of the anointing of Apostle Dr. Frank. I personal, in my house, I'm married. I have no love for my husband. Actually, at first, we were fine with my husband. I loved him. We had love. But one time came, I joined a church of which I didn't know I'm falling under wrong anointing. From there, I went on serving God. But when you're chosen of God, He will never forsake you. Amen. I was in that church. God gave to me the way He gave to Moses. Harriet was in that church. God kept her the way He gave to Moses. Until God brought a redeemer. Wow. When I entered in that church, I began losing love for my husband. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was taking place. I didn't know I've entered in a wrong place. I love serving God. As Harriet said, I love serving God. I served God thinking I'm in the right place. But God redeemed us. I thank God for that. So, on the day of my marriage, I could even shout on my husband. Very tough on him. My husband is a humble man. He's someone who doesn't answer you. He's someone who doesn't talk. When you see him talking, when it is too much for him. But I could be rough on him. I could take him like a kid. And I hated my mom. I could call my mom and shout on him. I had no peace talking with my mom. I had no peace talking with my husband in the house. But by that time, God brought Apostle Dr. Frank in Uganda. He laid his hands on me. My heart felt to live in the church. But this is what the devil was telling me. Remember in the church I was the choir leader, I was the admin, I was the secretary. I was holding a lot of luggage in the church. So the devil was telling me, when you leave this ministry, who is going to run all these parts of yours? I was so struggled by the devil, but God made me well. I came to realize I was in the wrong anointing. When I left the church, the Spirit of God led me to enter in dry fasting, three days. If I have not forgotten, I told the about my prayers. He told me, my daughter, go on. I entered in dry fasting of three days. God revealed it to me about my marriage. In the anointing where I was serving, this is anointing that kills out marriage. But I thank God who redeemed me. Amen. For now I have love for my husband. Amen. My husband loves me. Amen. Coming to Nairobi, I, we had no money. 
But he told me, if it means you to borrow, I will borrow, but you have to go. Because I'm saying, since you joined this man, your life has changed and our marriage has changed. That will fall on me as a consecrated minister. I, Kathy Achamkete, hereby pledge as follows I will be strong in the Lord and endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I will give my soul holy to the word of God so that I may present my soul approach to God. A worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I will give my soul to prayer and fasting, seeking to keep my soul from the dominion of the flesh and the destruction influence of the world. I will put God first in my life when it is convenient and when it is not convenient. I will work in harmony with other Christian ministers. I will start faithfully all duties that are of option to me. By my authority, in all honor and humility, not to be recognized by men, but to be noticed by my Father in heaven, I will, by my life, set a good example in love, humility, service, obedience.
knowing that the spirit under which I serve will be evident to all around me. Amen. She has taken her oath. Can we give her a hand clap? Amen. I'm over for signing your vows. And congratulations. Can we give her a crown? Amen. God bless you. You may, as I ask mom to speak, one, one, or two. Please, from here. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is not just a one-day event. We have worked with these ministers for, for forty days of for forty days of consecration. And in the forty days of consecration they took twenty one days of fasting and more as they were led by the Holy Spirit. In the consecration they learned that they cannot be ministers without going through consecration. Why consecration? Consecration is the cord that binds you in the altar. Why consecration? Consecration makes you usable by God. God will never use dirty or filthy vessels. The Bible says that God knows who are his for there is no wickedness in him. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse number 21 If a man therefore purges himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared to do every good work. I have done my part of preparing them and I present them to the man of God. Amen. They have gone through and I want to tell you they are wonderful. They came late at night. I want to show you that these ministers have been praying round the clock. All the watches of the day they have been praying. All the watches of the night they have not been sleeping. They have been asking God for the masses. For it's only the masses of God that they are there by presenting their bodies and their life to be holy before the Lord. And so I present them. They have done a wonderful job. Amen. The fasting, they went for 21 days. And even more, they even told me their 40 days was coming to an end on 5th, Friday. And I want to shock you. They are amazing. Amen. They are amazing. <laughs> Apostle, this we will not let you down. Amen. 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 Give God a mighty hand. Amen. I called them at night, gave them assignment, gave them what to read, where, oh my God, they cooperated. And I'm so thankful that they gave me an easy time to teach them about consecration. Amen. And I'm so humbled that I was part of this work. I will never forget you, Vivian. I will not forget the, the fellowship under that in Kabe we had during that time. Amen. And I pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that he will grace you today to do every good work apportioned to you. Amen. 
Congratulations. and the anointing and favor of God for want of diligence. You must love the Lord with all your heart and serve Him sincerely. In like manner, you must love and serve those that He entrusts to your care. You should learn from the failure of those in the scripture and in modern times who began well but ended badly because their hearts were not wholly given only given unto God and His Word. Ministers, you must renounce. You must renounce the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness, not handling the Word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of truth, commend yourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Ministers, you must free every last and pursue righteousness, godliness, Faith, love, patience, gentleness, and peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. You must be watchful in all things, enduring afflictions, ridicule, and insults, and fulfill your ministry. Ministers, I challenge you therefore to walk in the spirit demonstrating godly commitment obedience, love, sacrifice, and service to all. Service all the days of your lives. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. Lift up your hands as we pray for this anointing. Oh. to do this function on these ministers and I pray that as it touches them, their lives will be oh my God, I pray as this anointing all touches these ministers their lives shall be transformed, whatever was so difficult for them, let it now become very easy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Which one do I use? Amen to go. Name Amen. This anointing yes. is ready to come on your head. Oh, yes. Then someone took a vial of oil uh -huh. and poured it on someone's head oh, yes. and kissed him and said, Except not because God has anointed you, Captain, reader, ruler, priest of his inheritance, oh, yes. you have been chosen oh, yes. by the Lord. Oh, yes. You have been chosen oh, yes. by the Lord to be the ruler, to be the ruler, to be the captain. Over his inheritance. 
Praise the name of Jesus. All is about to come on you now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. As I pour this oil on my daughter, her life is transformed, her life is changed. I declare the heavens are ready to use you now. Nothing can stand against you all the days of your life. I declare that oil is anointed now. And as it touches you, you are elevated, you are promoted, you are separated from all evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the anointing comes on you now. The oil is on you, the oil is on you. The devil is defeated, your life is transformed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, take the oil, take the oil, take the oil, take the oil. Jesus, Pasha, 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 Pasha. Majede, Pasha, 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 let her take her time. Let her be exactly. In the name of Jesus, this is kneeling before me, O oh God. She is yourself. Uganda will hear her. Uganda will hear her. Not only Uganda, but all the nations of the world are going to hear what you have put in her spirit. Devils have been following her. Curses have been following her. Words have been following her from every quarter. But not after today. In the name of Jesus, I destroy the powers of darkness. I destroy the forces of darkness. I destroy the evil one. I destroy the powers of the evil. I destroy every plan of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, as all touches you, let every devil leave you. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, oil comes on you now. Oil comes on you now. Take the mighty. 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 In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace, 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 grace. Touch you, touch you now, touch you now, touch you now, touch you now, touch you now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, visit her, touch her, touch her in the name of Jesus, touch her in the name of Jesus, touch her in the name of Jesus, touch her flesh in the name of the Lord. Ramashipa gadala na na gade de de, arata sadaba ganona na, heriyama kade de 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 de, rete toma fro, rete roba 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 fro, rete toma fro, rete toma fro, rete toma fro, Santa na meno la de goza da, la graga na maganto na nagande, zapora. Ramata satole ne megende rebe dege O sabahandare na mazanda I destroy the devil I destroy the devil I destroy the devil I destroy the devil now I destroy the devil now In the name of Jesus Curses have been saved Words have been saved People have hated you People have rejected you People have spoken against you Not after today Not after today After this oil comes upon you The devil has no hold over your life The enemy has no hold over your life Every sin in your life is forgiven. Every powers of darkness are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I lift the oil up and I pour on in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, oil comes on you. The, the anointing comes on you. 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 Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Ramashikoli andalena, Zeporo Mondo Moriyanande, Zahata Kananda Lalala, Zeporo Mondo Moriyanande, Zahata Kananda Lalala, Zeporo Mondo Moriyanande, Zahata Kananda Lalala, Z
immediately. Father, we declare immediately that your spirit is coming upon these people in the mighty name of Jesus. All today, we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that the spirit of God that breaks every yoke in the mighty name of Jesus, that the anointing of God that breaks every yoke now is being released upon them in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verses number 27, that the yoke shall break by the anointing oil. And today we declare that every yoke now break in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everything that has been holding these people break in the name of Jesus. We keep them near of the glory. Father, our support today in the realm of the Spirit that they shall rise up and become great ministers, great men of God, great women of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And the power of God is settling on them in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Come on, let us celebrate the Lord because of what He is doing tonight, today. Let us celebrate in the hand of the Lord because of what He is doing today. Father, we thank you so much. We hope that you will be a lot of glory because of this fresh anointing. These are consecrated to Him and set apart. For you, O Lord God Almighty, Amen. we pray for your backing. Amen. We pray for everlasting backing yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. As they, minister, as they minister in their big station, yes. O Lord, we declare yes. everlasting backing now. Amen. We declare everlasting backing in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Therefore, we declare this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And church say, Amen. Amen. Take the oil away. Let it sit on the head. Just the eyes. Just the eyes. And don't be rough. Don't be rough. Just this. This now is a consecrated verse. Don't be rough. Don't 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 break their face. We want them to look as beautiful as ever. Don't wipe their head. Just their eyes. Awesome. Amen. 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 I now find
Pastor Amy and Prophet Amy. Prophetess Amy. She is going to release a prophetic one. Uh, Apostle will do the same. And then I will release a one. And then we are going to, to do next. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To candidate number one, Agatha Moturi. The Lord says, Thou, my, uh, I have anointed you and set you above all nations. Yes, I have trust in you. And that anointing will break through for you in Jesus' name. For that is what you have been waiting for, says the Lord. Receive your victory in Jesus' name. Minister Kadi. Mm. You have always desired to become a woman, an anointed woman of God. Has the Lord not done that today? He has. So take, um, take your shield and your buckler and walk straight on. For I will go before you and level the mountains in Uganda. I will give you a name and a voice in that East Africa, saying the Lord. Be not afraid. Be strong and courageous. For I will never leave you and never forsake you. Mm. Minister Vivian. Wow, 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 wow. I see a light shining in you. Oh my God. The Lord will make you to shine in your family. The Lord will make you to shine in the ministry. And he will never let you down. In the name of Jesus, Amen. for kings will come to the brightness of your throne, say at the Lord. In Jesus' name, what more do I hear? That you are an intercessor to the, to the nations. Wow, hear the word of God. You are an intercessor to the nations. Father, I present them to you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. That is so, so powerful. May we appreciate the Lord. Amen. Why can't we do it better? I know we are not very tired. And therefore, I want also to declare to you today, amen. in the name of Jesus, amen. the Bible says in the book of Exodus, verses number uh, uh, 17, verses number 9, that God commanded Joshua to go and fight Amalek. But there is something powerful that took place. Moses went to the mountain. And when he lifted his arms, the victory was given. I declare to you in the name of Jesus, whenever your hands are lifted, the three of you, in the name of Jesus, the victory will be given. The victory will be released. The victory will be released as long as your hands are highly lifted. I declare victory. I declare victory. I declare victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Fight your battles, not on natural alone, but in supernatural. May God give you supernatural backing in the mighty name of Jesus. And to make you today, you are going to see what the Lord is going to do in your life. As long as your hands are lifted, the victory is guaranteed. Hallelujah. Let that prophetic one walk in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, not people will stand on your way. As I was in Moses, so shall I be with you. You are seeing God standing with people in the past. He is going to stand with you now. It is now your turn. 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 Receive victory. 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 Receive victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That we have a big one, a celebration, a celebratory one in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Uh, you may come here now as uh, we may have a few pics with them. Congratulations. You have the what? What did we call this? We have the sash of righteousness Amen. that reads Mark 10 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister. Amen. That is the scripture that will guide you. We have also given you a badge. Amen. Yeah, Amen. written that this is the property of Powerhouse Ipa Church. That to recognize you as a minister in this ministry. So nobody can ask you a question. Yes. On your head, there is the crown of glory. Wonderful. This is to show you that in the heaven awaits a crown of life. Amen. So stand strong and live to the calling that you have been called. Congratulations again. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We can take a picture. <laughs> Congratulations, 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 congratulations. God bless you. You are going to Uganda different. Amen. Amen. Amen.
your word we come to pass your word must surely stand cause you are God you're not a mess 